Hey, story time friends. How are you doing today? If you haven't joined me for one of these before, my name is Miss Lisa and I get to do the story times at Worthington Park Library. Our theme this week is that we are going to be talking all about bath time. Do you love bath time at your house? If you do, I might have a story for you. If you don't, I definitely have stories for you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the more we get together. We're gonna use a few signs for this song. We're gonna use the sign for more. We're going to use the sign for together. And we're gonna use the sign for happy. If you have some super fast fingers, you can also use the sign for friend. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. I do sing this acapella, so we never know where I'm gonna start. Acapella means without music. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good job. Did you have fun doing that? Are your fingers all warmed up now? Oh good, because we're gonna need those, I'm sure. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about bath time today. And normally when we do centers, we'll talk later about centers uh, in another video, but normally when I do centers, I have to be a little bit creative because we don't do bath time at the library. Do you do bath time at the library? No, where do you do bath time? In your bathtub? At your house? Yeah, probably in your bathroom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we're still a little, little, we might do it in a sink, but usually as we get bigger, we move to a bathtub. Do you ever do your bath time in a pond? What about in a big thing of mud? No? Well, that's weird. No, it's not. Are you ready? We're gonna start with a story all about how animals get clean. And it's called, How Do You Take a Bath? And it's by Kate McMullen. And the pictures are by Sydney Hansen. It's illustrated by. <laughs> How cute is that? Cat has a rough pink tongue. Do you see cat? To lick his smooth brown fur. Polar bear scrubs her face with snow. I love polar bears. Elephant lifts his trunk and gives himself a shower. And pig wallows in the mud hour after hour. How do you take a bath? Do you lick from head to toe? Do you wash your face with snow? Squirt some water from your nose? Sink in mud without your clothes? No. Turtle lets small fishes eat algae off his shell. Bat spits upon her thumbs and cleans her ears quite well. What animal do you see here? Honeybee's hairy legs brush pollen grains away. Chicken shimmies in the dust each and every day. Do you see the chicken? How do you take a bath? Do fish nibble on you? Yum. Do you spit upon your thumb? No. Are your hairy legs your brush? Do you thrash about in dust? No. Oh, look at monkey. Monkey, monkey's mama combs his fur, her fingers like a rake. Dog rolls in a puddle, then dries off with a shake. Duck splashes in a pond and flaps her wings, quack, quack. Hippo's busy birdies peck the bugs from off his back. Look how beautiful. These illustrations are really pretty, but it's a little bit hard to see. You should give it a check out. How do you take a bath? Does your mama comb your fur? Maybe a little bit, huh? Do you shake off all your dirt? Do you splash and flap and quack? Do the birdies peck your back? No? Well, if you don't take a lick, back or a <laughs> lick bath or a snow bath, a trunk bath or a mud bath, a fish bath or spit bath, 
a brush bath or dust bath, a comb bath or shake bath, a splash bath or peck bath. How do you take a bath? What do you see? How cute is that little robe that he has? I know. I love him. Do you run water in a tub? Do you climb in and scrub it up? Do you hop out of the tub? Do you dry off rub-a-dub? Do you make the towel your hat? Do you take a bath like that? You might not do the towel part, but most of that is probably true, huh? Yes! There we go. All right, did you like that one? I love learning about how animals get clean and it's such a bonus that the pictures are beautiful. I mean, look at that hippo, so cute. All right, did you see that part where the pigs wallow in the mud? Do you know why they do that? If you've been to story time with me before, you'll know, because we talk about it during pig week every year. But pig skin can get sunburnt. So they use mud like sunscreen and they cover themselves because it helps with their temperatures. It helps them keep it a good temperature. It helps them stay cool longer when it's hot. It helps with their sunburn. And then it also helps with bugs. Isn't that interesting? Don't go covering yourself with mud. Pig skin is different than people's skin. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's do one more little story and then we'll do a song together. Are you ready? All right. This one is what a lot of the bath time books are like. So most bath time books that I have found are like, I don't want to get in the bath. I don't want to get in the bath. I got in the bath. I don't want to get out of the bath. So you'll probably find a lot like that if you're looking for bath books. <laughs> but this one is really cute. Are you ready? It's called Peep and Egg. I'm not taking a bath. And it's by Laura Gell and the pictures are by Joyce Wan. Ooh, hit myself in the face with a book. All right. I know. Ready? Egg, were you playing with the pigs? He asked, I think you need a bath. I don't know what makes her think that. What do you think? Was he playing with the pigs? Okay. Too wet, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. We could use Miss Sheep's special shampoo, Peep said. Oh, what does that do? Do you like a bubble bath? Kids do. Too bubbly, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. I could wash you with the hose instead, Peep said. Too splashy, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. How about a quick dip in the dog's water bowl? Oh, please don't take your bath in your doggo's water bowl. No. Too slobbery, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. We can walk over the hill to the river, Peep said. Too fishy, said Egg, and too fast. I'm not taking a bath. Okay, I guess you are not taking a bath today, Peep said. <gasps> Wait a minute, what are they doing? Ooh, looks like they're planning on some fun. What do you think? See you later, Egg. Where do you think she's going? Do you have any guesses? What are the pigs doing? Why do you think they have a boat? Where are you going, Egg asked. I'm going to take a bath myself, said Peep. What are all those toys? Egg asked. Just some bath toys, said Peep. Bye. Hey, Peep. Peep, wait for me. Oh. What do you think he wants to do? Play with those bath toys? <gasps> look at that bath situation. Oh man, doesn't that look like fun? I do I have a question. What do you see the pigos doing? What are the pigs doing? <gasps> they're in the boat. Why do you think they're in the boat? So they keep their mud on them, huh? All right, and do you see all those fun bath toys that Peep and Egg have? Some of them are actually nods to her other books, which is super fun. Egg, you are all nice and clean, Peep said. Would you like a towel? 
No thanks, said Egg. I don't need a towel. Ready for the very predictable ending, grown-ups? You'll never know what's coming. Because I am not getting out. You know, friends, sometimes I have that feeling when I'm in a nice hot shower and I don't want to get out, or a nice cool shower in the summer and I don't want to get out. I get that. All right. You did such a great job with the stories today. I hope you had fun with those. We're going to do one more story, but first I'm going to try something I've never done before. Um, so last night I decided to try to learn to play the ukulele. That's this thing. To do a story time song for you. And it's okay. It's not perfect because I just learned and I'm going to keep practicing and hopefully get better at it because we make mistakes a lot when we're learning to do something, especially something that's a little bit hard. So I'm probably going to make mistakes and I'm probably not going to get it right, but I am going to try. Okay. All right. Thankfully for me, my friends are not musical critics and they will usually be pretty nice about me trying and making mistakes. All right. So this is a song by Jim Gill, and it's called, I Took a Bath in a Washing Machine. Do we take baths in washing machines? No, this is just a silly song. Do not climb into the washing machine. Okay, ready? Okay. And you can find this, it has a lot of fun dance moves. I want you to make up your own dance moves for this round, okay? All right. I really used to love to do a lot of twisting dancing when we get to the chorus. You'll find it. Ready? I took a bath in a washing machine. I took a bath in a washing machine. <laughs> so I could get myself really clean. Ready? This is the chorus. So this is the part where you can dance. The washing machine is washing me clean. The washing machine is washing me clean. I put in the soap. Up came the suds. I put in the soap. Nope. Up came the suds. They washed out dirt. They washed out mud. Ready? The washing machine is washing me clean. The washing machine is washing me clean. It was just then that I started to spin. It was just then that I started to spin. Spin. And then I knew the trouble I was in. Ready? The washing machine is washing me clean. The washing machine is washing me clean. Oh, and then it starts going faster and faster. Can you go faster and faster with your spinning? Be very careful. Make sure you have space around you. Ready? The washing machine is washing me clean. The washing machine is washing me clean. Oh, no. The washing machine is washing me clean. The washing machine is washing me clean. I hope my mom doesn't put me in the dryer. Was it perfect? Very much no. Nope. If you want to watch it done much better, you should find a video of Jim Gill doing it because um, he also plays the ukulele. Um, I shouldn't say also because I don't play the ukulele. He does it much better. All right. I have one more story I want to do with you. And it is called Time for a Bath and is by Phyllis, Phyllis Gershader and illustrated by David Walker. And it goes through the whole year of ways you might get dirty. Yeah. I have found that bath time is usually after we've had a lot of fun getting dirty. And usually getting dirty is a lot of fun, isn't it? All right. Rise and shine. We'll work and play all year long and every day. Oops, a mess, but that's okay. 
What are they doing together? Can you tell? They're cooking together. Spills and spatters, goop and grit. Fill the tub. What time is it? Time for a bath. Ready? Let's look at those words together. Time for a bath. We're going to hear that a lot, so you can say it with me next time. Hop in and then rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, all clean again. Look for earthworms, track the ants, roll around in grassy pants, dig a hole, plant a pit, water and weed. What time is it? Hey, what season do you think it is? If they're putting in their garden, I think it's probably spring, don't you think? I can't wait for gardening time. Ready? <gasps> what was that thing we were going to say together? Time for a bath. Splash and squirt, rub-a-dub-dub, goodbye dirt. Hunt for crabs, run to and fro, take sand home between each toe. What season do you think we're in now? Share a big banana split, drippy sweet. What time is it? What do we say together? Time for a bath. Quick, quick undress, rub-a-dub-dub, no more mess. Swing and slide, hang upside down, chase the leaves, red, yellow, brown. If we're looking at red, yellow, and brown leaves, what season are we in now? Probably fall. Pick a puddly pick place to sit, make a pie. What time is it? What is it? Time for a bath. Here we go. Rub-a-dub-dub -dub from head to toe. Oh, bunny is so messy. Paint a picture, paint with clay, or play with clay. Be an artist every day. Uh-oh, got wet a little bit. An accident. Time for a bath. A shampoo, too, with rainbow bubbles, pink, green, blue. Splash, splish, splash, splash. Can everybody fit? Duck, fish, whale. What time is it? Wait a minute. We've usually been saying what time is it when we're getting ready to get into the bath. What do you think? The best time, bath time, time with you. All clean again, all fresh and new. Wrapped in a towel, warm and dry, ready for a story and a lullaby. And when we say sweet dreams, sleep tight, we kiss and hu hug and cuddle and kiss goodnight. And then at the end, my favorite, bubbles. I love how they go through all the seasons and have fun exploring. You know what I don't love? Even though I really do like this book, is that in winter, they were only playing inside. I don't know about you, but my kids have gotten lots of time outside this year. We've had so much snow that they have played outside a lot. So I hope that you are getting outside time and maybe getting a little messy out there too. We're going into mud season, which is not going to be as much fun, but it'll still be messy and we'll still get bath times. Oh, do you hear the truck out there? I know. All right. I have a few other books I wanted to tell you about, and then we're going to wrap it up for today. Are you ready? All right. Otter. Oh, no. Bath time is one of those where, guess what? He doesn't want to take a bath, and then he takes a bath. All right. But it is a cute book, and it's one that my friends could start practicing reading on their own because... It is in our section with the green sticker on the spine, our Getting Started readers. Don't be afraid of those because there are some really cute stories over there and your, your little one can start picking out some of the words. So I really like the Otter books. They're super cute. There's another one in a minute I'll show you that's also in the same spot. And this one is called Sloppy Takes the Plunge and Sloppy, guess what, doesn't want to take a bath. Do you see something? I know. But he is a tree dragon, so he's very, very muddy. And when he sees that some ducklings are also scared of taking a bath, he finds his brave place. And he does it. All right. It's a cute little story. It's by Sean Julian. All right. The next one I wanted to tell you is Please Baby Please. It's by Spike Lee and Tanya Lewis Lee. And it's illustrated by one of my favorite artists. Kadir Nielsen, isn't it so pretty? Um, and then I wanted to show you just one little, it only has a tiny little bit about bath, but the page about bath is so cute. Hey, so this baby's going through the day, maybe making the not, but not the right choices or not the best choices. So what do you think you would do in the bathtub that might get you in trouble with your grown up? Is it splashing? Oh no, look at that baby splashing. But look at that. 
I know. All right, I love those bubbly pages. And then, oh, hit my ukulele. All right, and then this one is called Duck Duck Dinosaur Bubble Blast. If you have been in Storytime where we read the Duck Duck Dinosaur books, you know they are super, super fun. And the readers are still very cute, lots of fun. Um, guess what? The ducklings don't want to get in the bath. I know, you're so surprised. Um, but my favorite, Spike here, he came up with a solution to help them get, get in. And it's in our same favorite section. All right. Oh, I should tell you what the solution is. You know, I haven't gotten to blow bubbles in so long. I forget how to do it. I'm going to have to get those muscles back whenever we're back in person. All right. Well, that is everything I had for you today. Let's go ahead and tickle the clouds and then we'll wrap it up. Are you ready? All right. Start finding your tickle fingers. Ready? Tickle the clouds. Tickle them. Ready? Tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Let's wave goodbye. Thank you so much for coming today, friends. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Maybe take a bath. And I will see you soon.